Coach Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. You know, we talked about defensive response before the game, you know, to hold them to, to 85 points. How, how do you feel your, your group did in that regard? I think they did a very good job in, in being able to hold them to, you know, 85 points. Uh, we, we talked about what we had given up the previous two games, and our, our guys' response to that was very good. Focusing on the defensive end, uh, continuing to play with a stream amount of effort. Obviously, there's things we're going to have to clean up in this one. But besides that, I, I really liked our guys' effort and response to the two games that we had just played. Jamal Wendell gets a career high, 30 points. Both what impressed you the most, but also how, you know, how he got those points impressed you the most about the performance. Uh, his dominance, his ability to just understand what his physical presence is, what his voice is, um, what it means to this team, what it means to the guys in that locker room. When he shows that type of, you know, presence in the, in the paint, when he commands the basketball, obviously a screen setting, then defensively being able to switch one through four and five at times, you know, that's the biggest thing for, for me with Wendell. And he did a great job of commanding the basketball as well as being a presence on both sides of the floor. Coach Melissa Thomas of Florida National News. I know one thing you've been focusing on with the guys is defending without fouling. How At this point in the season, how well do you think they're doing on that goal? Well, tonight, I think we did a good job giving, you know, giving them 18 free throws. I know there was a couple touch fouls, but we talked about being being aggressive uh, early on uh, out on the perimeter. And then when the guys get around the rim, obviously going using our verticality, we talked about the weak side man, the low man coming across the lane, being there early. You know, we, we had some slippage there before, and these guys did a great job of recognizing it and communicating when they weren't there. So, you know, our, our guys did a good job of recognizing the things that we've asked them to do. Coach, we've talked a lot all season about celebrating each other's success. You know, when Wendell is doing his walk-off injury uh, interview, uh, you know, Markel and, and Mo are showering him with Don't water. Don't say injury, please. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> are showering him with 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 water. Uh, you know, just 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 how nice is it to see that the group continue to to celebrate each other's success like that? Uh, it it go, it says so much about these this these young men. Um, you know, we talked about the OMYF last night, um, the, the foundation dinner and how they celebrated each other there. And now on the court, we talk about on and off the court. That's who this this group of young men, they, that's who they are. You know, they celebrate the successes. They go through They're in the trenches together and they continue to do it night in and night out. And that's all we can ask of them to continue to do it for one another. Anything else here? All right, thank you. Coach thank you. Moses. Thank you. Back with, uh, Wendell. Wendell, Dan Savage, Orlando Magic .com. After, I, I know you didn't play in one of them, but after the <laughs> team had two tougher defensive performances, how, how much did you like the group's response on the defensive end today? Um, I think we did a really good job holding the team at 85 points is always good. Um, you know, I mean, I, I feel like we, we did a really good job of, uh, you know, responding, especially at halftime. You know, we, we were all pretty, pretty frustrated, pretty mad about, you know, not hitting our shots and things like that. And I, you know, my, my message was to the team was to, you know, the offense, it, we weren't, we didn't shoot the ball that well tonight, but we got to establish our identity on the defensive end and let that fuel our offense. Speaking of offense, you, you got a career high 30 points. What, what were you seeing on that end of the floor, you, you know, that, that, that helped you, you know, achieve such high highs? Um, a lot of credit to my teammates. Um, they found me in, and in, in especially early on, they found me a lot on, on the rolls and a, in a dunker. Um, you know, whenever I was spacing the court, they found me. So, um, you know, a lot of credit to them. And, you know, I just saw it as an opportunity just to just help my team out. You know what I'm saying? And, um, like, as long as we got that win tonight, I mean, that's really all I was, was focused on because, you know, just because of the start we had to the game and things like that, I just feel like we had to get things turned around for sure. So that's what my whole mindset was coming out of halftime, at least. Window, do you remember the last time you scored 30 points in a game? You said 30? Yeah. No, nah, that there's my career high. Oh, no, I'm saying, I'm just period. Oh, period. Oh, uh, in high school, I did it a couple of times, yeah. What about, I guess, the, how you scored the third points, I guess, impressed you most of yourself, just how you did it, not just the what? Um, Tonight, you talking about tonight or just uh, tonight? Um, I feel like, 
you know, the fact that I was able to, to stretch the floor a lot, um, that's, you know, that's the next step for me, you know, as a, as a big man. And I feel like I did that well tonight. Um, you know, that definitely fueled a lot of my, uh, well, some of my points. And um, just being aggressive, you know, catching in certain areas of the court and, um, you know, understanding that the right play is for me to shoot the ball. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of where my head was tonight. And, you know, I made, I made some shots tonight and that's really about it. Uh, Wendell, Melissa Thomas with Florida National News. Um, kind of aside from tonight's game, you mentioned, yeah, obviously you took a lot of the, the responsibility in terms of scoring, but do you think overall now, especially after the, the all-star break, that the team is doing a much better job in the third, like coming out and coming out strong in the third? Because I know that was something you were working on before the all-star break. Yeah, yeah. No, um, no, this, we, we're going to have nights like this coming up. I mean, not nights like this coming up. But we're going to have nights like this um, in the NBA. You know, that's it's bound to happen. And just our response at halftime is always good. Whether we're up at half or we're down at half, I feel like our approach has to be the same thing, is that, you know, all good teams across the league, you know, in the third and fourth quarters is when they turn it on. You know, not that you don't try in the first half, but the second half is where you want to establish, like, okay, we're going to win this game. And I feel like we did a, a pretty good job of that tonight. And, you know, that's kind of the theme I've just kind of been teaching, uh, preaching to my teammates is that, you know, no matter what happens in the first half, it's a game of runs. The third, we got to, especially the start of the third, to just set the tone for the rest of the game. And I think we did a solid job of that tonight. Wendell back here. Are you a superstitious guy or the white glass is going to be here to stay after a career high 30 points? Uh, just when I wear white, you know, I try to mess, mess it up with the jerseys, but yeah, I won't. It's not, not that superstitious at all. Yeah. Wendell, your group's always been one to, to celebrate successes when you have Mo, Markel, and the guys dumping you with water in your walk-off interview. You know, mm -hmm. just, just how, how nice is that to, to have your teammates support like that? Um, man, it's, it's important. Um, you know, I, we're, we're all great fans off the court, and I feel like, you know, just just getting that sense of, you know, togetherness. Um, you know, when someone has a great game, you know, Mo had a great game a couple games ago. Markel played really well. Um, Cole has played really well. So, you know, just for us to share that wealth with one another is really important to the point where, you know, any of us can have a good game. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's important, you know, especially for a team like this, is that, you know, it's not just one person that can score that many points. You know what I'm saying? Like one day it might be France, one day it might be Cole. And for us to, you know, understand that and really be there for one another, one another is really important. It's hard to find in this league for sure. You got to take in your first Orlando Food and Wine Festival yeah. yesterday, benefiting the OMYF. One, one how, how nice was it to, to support such a good cause? And two, you know, I heard that you made, a, you know, quite the, the purchase in the auction. <laughs> uh, no, nah, that was a, it was a really, really cool event. You know, I, you know, coming from Chicago and coming here, you know, you know, we've had different events for our sponsors and things like that. And I think that was one of the most unique ones I've been a part of. So it was really fun. Uh, it was a great atmosphere. Everybody was having fun, a lot of smiles. And yeah, I did make a, a, a one, one of the auctions. Um, want to take my team down to the DR. Um, you know, that's kind of what we all kind of decided on before the auction. We knew, you know, we was all on teams kind of, you know, make sure we won it. And, you know, that's, that's kind of our plan for this summer is, you know, get together and get out to the DR and just have some fun with one another. Christo Salta on Zoom. Hey, Wendell, great game, great win, first of all. Do you feel, what is your mindset every time you step on the floor? And in games like this, do you feel that like you are one of the best or the best players step on the floor? Um, You know, just, just trusting the work that I put into this game. Um, you know, night in and night out, whether it's practice, after practice, late nights. You know, I'm always putting in the work and, you know, when I go out there and I lace some shoes up and it's time to, time to play, you know, I just trust my work. You know, sometimes I may have an off night, sometimes I might be on, but, you know, some of the, a lot of the shots that I take, I've taken over a thousand times, you know, over the course of this year. So, um, you know, I just feel comfortable now, you know, I, I, and, and I definitely give a lot of credit to my coaching staff. Like I said, they've supported me this whole time. Um, you know, coming back with me at night, coming back, you know, coming early before practice, things like that. And that's that kind of swag that you kind of get from just putting in that work. You understand that it's going to pay off at one, uh, at one point. <clears throat> Thank you, Del. Yeah.